So now that we got this going too, I'm really trying to pay attention to if I feel like we're being watched. And then see if the meter goes off any while I'm feeling that feeling. The footprint we found was 17 inches. It looked Probably like a bare human it. footprint. You... Yeah, so... my camcorder wasn't on yet when it started going off. I just walked up here and started talking about the footprint. All right, so we're back at the truck and the, the meter's still at 006, 002. 0.003, 0 0.009, very nominal. There's something about this rock. When you guys come over here, this could this could be limestone. Yeah. And that so that's sitting I'm right here, it. okay? Yeah. You guys come over and you got this print or or track whatever it is right here. I don't know if this is a version of the same thing. It gets dirty. That one, I don't know. Like it could have been casting material. I don't know. That kind of looks like it it does. It. There's no reason right now for us to be getting hit with radio frequency out here in the middle no, of the not. woods. No. No. You, you feel it? Just a little. I still feel it just a little, not not like I did back there. But you still feel like it's watching us. Still feel it a little bit, yeah. Or yeah. you just feel that pressure. Yeah, you can feel something's watching us, yeah. So the meter's going off. You okay? We jumped up to 17 and 16. It's going back down. Went back down to normal now. Yeah, it's normal. It was up pretty high. It was 11, 16, 17. Okay, here's the first cell phone tower that I'm going to. I'm going to get as close as I can to it. Okay, so here's um, the first cell phone tower. I got as close as I could here. I'll get across the street in a few minutes so you can see. You'll be able to see it better. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna take the tri-filled meter and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. All right, so let's try it on magnetic electric. Okay, so I'm getting slight readings. So that should be from the tower. And then electric, zero. Okay, so that was the standard. Okay, and then the next one here, magnetic. <coughs> so on here they have a standard. It weighted the magnetic and the electric and then they have the RF the radio frequency all right so let's go to the electric zero okay now let's go to RF the radio frequency okay so that's from the cell phone tower right there So if you were right here working 
close to that cell phone tower for for a day you would be on um, getting hit with that all day long so that that's why these meters are for these meters are to test mainly like people are using them at their houses all right so there's there's actually three cell phone towers here that i'm are all not very far from each other so i'm gonna go to each one so actually i'm gonna go down and turn around and get over here by one of the stores where you can see the the cell phone tower there better okay so here i got so you can see the tower So the radio frequency is pretty strong back here a little ways. You can see all the numbers it's hitting. Okay. So there's um, three cell phone towers here that are pretty close together, so I'm gonna go on to the next one. Okay, so again, I'm gonna to go to the standard magnetic. Okay, the standard magnetic. I'm trying to make sure you can see the numbers. I'm trying to get it where there's not a glitter on it. So you can see the numbers there. So this is what pe people are using this trough field meter in their homes for stuff like this. So we're getting small readings with the, the weighted magnetic. Trying to get it where you can see. I can't tell if you can see the numbers. This is what people are mainly using it for, the trough field meter. It's in their homes if they're being hit real high radio frequencies, close to being close to a tower, some sort of tower like this. Then there's things they can do. They can put shielding up. They can put like window curtains made out of a screen that'll block the radio frequency. Um, blinds on the windows, stuff like that, that'll help block the radio frequency. Trying to make sure I can get the numbers. There we go. So you can see the numbers that I'm getting hit with right here, really close to the cell phone tower. All right, so that's what I'm showing with the radio, with the trough field meter. Getting hit with the radio frequency. That's what I'm working on here is showing showing what people are using this for and that when we're out in the woods then there's no cell phone towers around a lot of times we don't even have a cell phone service because we're too far away from the towers and yet we'll be getting hit with high radio frequency and sometimes I'm I'm really starting to wonder if it's because something's scanning us we're getting scanned by something whether it's a drone or a UFO or or whatever it could be, or if the Bigfoots have a way of um, if they have a way of scanning us. Okay, here's the here's the power lines. Alright, so we're getting hit pretty good with the electric, on the standard electric and the standard magnetic electric. And again, that's from the power lines. So that's normal readings from the power lines. Alright, so I'm going to go to weighted magnetic electric. So we're getting hit with readings there and the weighted electric. Again, the, um, the electric is from the power lines themselves. The weighted electric is from the, 
the current that's rolling around the, the wires and it comes outwards. Radio frequency is 0 .007, 0 .006, 0 .007. Okay. okay, so the radio frequency here at the power lines. Very, very minimal. 0 .006, 0 .007. And I'm also scanning around with the thermal camera. See if I catch any ores. So far I'm not seeing any, but I'll look at my I'll look at my footage on the laptop and make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go down and turn around and then I'll come back and film the other side. Okay, so I had to move a little bit because there were a couple of cars came in. So there's no traffic now. So I'm filming around out here to these power lines just to see if I catch an orb around them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to the to the next cell phone tower, the last one. Okay, I'm at the last cell phone tower. The one closest to my home, to my house. So you can see we're getting hit with pretty high numbers. 2.1, 3, 3. So I always try to say in this, because there's a decimal point, I always try to say the number is the decimal point and then the, the rest of the numbers fall on it. So I'm getting hit with pretty good radio frequency right here. And we get hit with even stronger. We get hit with a lot stronger than this when we're out there in the woods sometimes. And I believe we're being scanned. Scanned by something. And a lot of times if we stop and we're, we're looking at footprints or looking at a tree structure, and then that's when we start getting hit with the high radio frequency. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to magnetic electric. So we're getting hit with small numbers of magnetic electric. 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. That's the standard magnetic electric, standard electric, zero. Weighted magnetic electric. Getting hit with a 1.2.0, a 0 0.9. It's fluctuating pretty good. So that's coming off of the cell phone tower. So the cell phone towers give off magnetic, electric, and the radio frequency. So these are harmful if you're close to it all the time. This is harmful to you if you don't have some kind of shielding. So for instance, like right here, I'll show you something. Alright, so the radio frequency is uh, 1.8, 2.1. This is pretty pretty good numbers here. Getting hit with right here. So if you look right behind me here, there's houses. There's houses right here behind us. So these people living in those houses here are getting hit with this. So they'll have shielding from the building itself. But if, say, if they're out in the yard playing a lot, the kids are out in the yard playing a lot, they're going to be hitting with this high radio frequency quite often. And this, this is um, what people do to use to determine if they're getting hit by this a lot and uh, have a 
chance of getting uh, stuff like cancer. It makes so getting hit with the high radio frequency. It causes friction in the body, friction in the tissues, and it can cause cancer. If you're getting hit with it a lot. So that's, that's the main reason we're using this out in the woods. We're using it to try to determine if we're actually getting hit with... Well, to begin with, we were using it to see if we were getting hit with radio frequency and, and not infrasound. We were thinking maybe it wasn't infra, actually infrasound we were getting hit with. But I've actually only been hit with infrasound a couple of times. And using this, this tri-field meter, I've been able to, um, we've been getting hit with radio frequency quite often and there's there's actually a pretty big difference because I'm not feeling the um, all the effects like I was feeling when I'm getting hit with the infrasound. So when you're getting hit with the infrasound it's a lot different than when we're getting hit with the radio frequency. The radio frequency when we're getting hit with it you're not getting the the dread feeling, the anxiety feelings the feeling like you're fixing to be fighting something, the feelings like you need to leave, the um, sickness, all that stuff that comes with infrasound. We're not feeling that when we're getting hit with the radio frequency. So that, that's why we've been using this tri-field meter. Alright, so there's the cell phone tower. Wow. Oh, it's going, Tim. Dang, nice. It's like a small, little small juvenile. Look how small it is. And I'm pretty sure this over here is probably the female that it was with. Fresh animal tracks here where we were before. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah there, was, there was an yeah. X and brakes. Yeah. Okay, I'm at uh, the house here and getting ready to go on a night outing. So I'm just trying to teach everybody what we're doing with the tri-field meter here. Alright, so I'm going to turn it on. And put it on RF. Alright, so I'm at the house right now. Trying to make sure you can see it. There we go. Trying to get it where I can make sure you can see it. Alright, so it's staying around 0 0.004 to 0 0.007, 0 0.010, 0 .0. it just went up to 0 0.020, so it's really nominal right now, and this is at our house. And all this is, is to, um, all this meter is doing is so all we're doing with the meter here is testing the electrical electrical current. That's all it's for. It's not for ghost hunting or paranormal stuff, nothing like that. All it is is for, um, we're checking for radio frequency, which is like your microwave puts out, which can be harmful if it's in high doses. So that's all we're checking for. All right, so I'm at the house right now, fixing to leave to go on an outing, so I just wanted to to film this and then I'll, I'll film more out here when I get out in the woods. Okay, I'm at the shop right now, about to leave work. So I wanted to show you what the tri-field meter did here when I'm here at work. On radio frequency. It's basically the bare minimum, bare minimum readings. So I'm here at our shop and I don't work here at the shop itself all the time either. A lot of times we're at new houses putting the cabinets in. 
So just kind of scanning around so you can see all my work. So I just wanted to show you the tri-field meter other than in the woods too, like at home and then here at work. Places like this and around the cell phone towers. Okay, here I just got home from work. So I'm gonna, I just backed into the driveway. So I'm gonna turn the meter on. So the truck's running, the air's on. You can see I just took my seatbelt off. So the meter's barely, got a barely bare minimum on there with the truck running. And this is sitting in my driveway. All right, so I'm gonna turn the truck off. See if that makes a difference. No, that didn't make a difference. It's still doing the same. Still getting the same reading. So that's probably just from uh, the, our Wi-Fi or, or internet or the neighborhood, a couple of the houses around close to us, or it could be their internet team. We bar barely getting a reading on it. Then. It's just giving you some different scenarios here using the meter other than just in the woods. All right, so I'm going to make a run for it in this rain and get back in the house now. Okay, I want to show you all this with the tri-field meter and the radio frequency the microwave electrical current. So this is Faraday cloth, Faraday fabric. And I'm gonna show you in a minute here um, what I did here. I took that Faraday paper and wrapped it around my game cameras to try it out with them. Cause I was getting a lot of orbs on game camera. And sometimes my batteries were being drained Sometimes my batteries would be drained and, and then nothing at all on the memory card as well. Well, there was a couple of times that the I would catch orbs on the game camera. And then the very next video would be, or the video or the picture of the very next one, the date would be changed. So I was trying something with the Faraday cloth to see if it would block any of the energy see if that made any difference. So I wrapped it around my game cameras. You can see I took it back off of these two and I've been using these two game cameras. And now I've got them ready to go back out but without the Faraday cloth. Because I put the Faraday cloth on and then over top of the Faraday cloth I used some of this fabric that I picked up at Walmart. It's just a blind fabric. It's just camouflage. The leafy camouflage stuff made for hunting blinds or anything like that that you want to use to cover up. So I used that on here uh, along with some camouflage tape. I did all three of these the same way and like I said I took it off of these here a while back and was using them without it again. All right so I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here and show you. Alright, so as you can see I'm unfolding this fabric. You can see where I've, I've cut some off to use on the game cameras. But this comes in big sheets. So like if you're at home in your house and you're being hit by radio frequency like from cell tower or cell phone towers that are really close to you 
You can make curtains out of these to block your windows, keep it down, stuff like that. You can actually look up videos on uh, doing that for people who are getting sick because of the uh, radio frequency. And then they're using stuff like this, this fabric, on their walls, on their, uh, on their windows, or making curtains out of it to hang and help block it from the room. All right, so we're going to do an experiment with this. All right, so I got a glass of water in the microwave so I can run the microwave here. All right, so I just turned the meter on. I want to make sure you can read it. Real minimal right now. And what you're seeing is just from probably from our modem, from our, our Wi-Fi modem, for our, our internet. Alright, so now I'm going to turn on the, the microwave. Alright, so now I want to make sure you can see it. That's from the microwave. And when it goes up to the the dash 1000, then it maxes out. So I'm wanting to see what it'll actually go up to. Because I know it'll go up to 16 and then point something else. I know I've got that uh, on video and pictures of that out in the field being hit with that much radio frequency. So look how much radio frequency I'm being hit with right here next to the microwave. There it went up to 10 point something, 8 point something. Okay, I, put, I changed the water out in there. I put a different glass of water in the microwave so I can keep doing this. Alright, so we're going to turn on the microwave. And we're going to see if this Faraday cloth will block the, the radio frequency that we're getting. Alright, so we're up to 8.5, 10.4. Now it's just barely going 1.130, 2.35, 4.8, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9
it shows the dash 1000 that, that, that's maxed out. So I'm just trying to show you what the actual tri-field meter is doing, what people are using it for, and some tests you can make in your own home with it. I'm going to turn it off. The people use these in their homes is what this was actually designed for and made for. To um, test for radio frequency and uh, electrical frequency from your your power, your uh, electrical box coming into the house, uh, the magnetic electric from your wiring running through your house, stuff like that. That's why the the meter was made and why people are using it. So we're getting hit with currents, just like when I was just holding it right up to the microwave. We're getting hit with that much radio frequency sometimes out there in the woods. And when there's nothing around, there's no cell phone towers close by. A lot of times we don't even get cell phone service out there in some of the areas. Alright, so I want to show you something else here. This this came with the Faraday cloth, the Faraday, pa uh, the Faraday fabric. This was in the pack with it. It came with some Faraday tape. You can see the the tape right here. It's got scissors with it. 5G safety gun. So check this out. For 5G towers, cell phone towers. Use EMF shielding paint on walls, windows, and doors. So you can actually get paint too that has the Faraday um, shielding using into NTEMF bed canopy. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it must have a um, be like a canopy that has the shielding fabric around it. Move to smaller towns and rural areas where 5G rollouts may not happen anytime soon. And then your cell phone, look at your cell phone. Use speaker phone, earphone, and keep it away from your head. Carry away from the body, don't tuck it in your pocket. A lot of people carry the cell phones in their pockets. And they're getting hit with the radio frequency. Like mine, I keep uh, mine on a carry case where I can keep it on my pocket. And then like, while I'm at work, I take it off and I set it aside to the side. For one thing, so I don't damage the phone or the case or break them. But then it's away from me too. Even at home too, I don't keep it right on me. I keep it sitting on the table. So um, use airplane mode as often as you can. So a lot of times too, we're putting our phones on airplane mode when we're out in the woods. And then we're still getting hit with radio frequency. And that, that shows you that the it's not our cell phones doing it. We even show sometimes showing turning them off, putting them on airplane mode on video. Don't be don't buy a 5G ready. Well, I'll skip one. Turn off when not needed, especially at night. Well, I leave mine on at night because I set my alarm so I get up in the morning. I usually get up before the alarm does, but I have it just in case. Don't buy a 5G ready phone and support the technology. I don't know if you can actually do that. I think they're all becoming 5G phones now. Alright, here's the Wi-Fi router. Turn off the router when not in use, especially at night. I don't know if you could actually do that. I, know, I mean, some people could, I'm sure. Enable Wi-Fi on devices only when needed. Don't put the router in your bedroom or common rooms. Don't upgrade to a 5G router provided by your ISP, that must be your internet service provider. 5G home internet. 
Move to an area where 5G internet is not available. Don't upgrade to a 5G wireless modem provided by your internet service provider. And then it says here, the notice the fabric is easy to burn. Please keep away from the, the fire source. The fabric is easy to be dirty, which is normal. Alright, so there's um, some things to think about, even at home.